grief is a funny thing, really. You don't have to wait until someone has died to have grief. It can overcome you in the process of waiting. I'm at that point right now. A lot of my family's at that point as we watch the end coming for my dear cousin. And it's overwhelming. Grief just socks us in the gut, in the deepest places. And it hits wave after waves. For a minute or two, we might be fine. And then for a minute or two, it's just deep sorrow. So what do we do in situations like this? Well, thanks be to God that we have a Lord and Savior who has also experienced this. Tells us in Matthew 26, 38, this is as Jesus was about to head into the whole events of the crucifixion, said that Jesus told his disciples he was overwhelmed with exceeding sorrow or exceeding grief is the word in Greek. Jesus understood the immensity of what was before him and it hurt so deeply. It wasn't the pain that he was going to endure. It was the separation from God that he was about to face. And what did he say to his disciples when he encountered this? Come and watch with me. Come and watch. He wanted them to be present with him in his grief, in his sorrow. My friends, I have put out prayer requests to those who I know about my cousin and his family. And it is amazing how we can do so much better when we have the support of people around us who are lifting us up in prayer, who are watching with us, carrying our burdens with us. Be that kind of person for someone else. The road can be really hard for those walking that journey. Be watchful with them. Something to contemplate today.